Hey girl. Hello, my beautiful Pisces. How are you doing? My name is Simply Valka, and today I'm going to be doing your weekly tarot horoscope reading, Pisces. So if you find any cards that resonate with you in this July horoscope, let me know in the comments below which cards do and how they do, darling, because that is how I keep up with y'all through the comments. Also, Pisces, if you do enjoy this tarot reading today or you just enjoy my vibe, honey, I'd appreciate it if you were to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help me out a lot. Now, I'm super appreciative of it when you guys take that extra step to do that for me. Now keep in mind, Pisces, this July horoscope reading is just here to give you some words of wisdom, right? Some food for thought, a perspective for you to consider as you go throughout your week. Never making the choices in your life, Pisces, because it's your life to live, darling, not mine, and not these tarot cards. So with all that being said, darling, let's just get into your July horoscope today, right, Pisces? So I pulled an animal oracle card that I showed you guys briefly, Pisces, to see what where your energy is going to be at this week, Pisces. And so you guys have the parrot spirit number nine for numerology. Watch your words. So be careful about who you speak to this week, Pisces. Be careful about who you share your ideas to, um, who you open up to, who you are choose to be vulnerable to, right? Be careful about just how you express yourself, right? As well, Pisces, ask yourself the question of what are you hoping to accomplish through your interactions, through your engagements this week, right? You know, emotions may be high for some of you, Pisces, um, is something that I'm getting. And I just feel as if you need to have some moments to just yourself, Pisces, where you are able to speak to yourself rationally and just, you know, think things through before speaking. You know, just don't, don't do things just out of anger, obviously, but, you know, just don't be conscious of when you're speaking, I guess is what I'm trying to say, Pisces. So let's get some clarification on this, right? <clears throat> Actually, I don't feel like I need to get any more clarifiers on that in specific Pisces. I feel like I just want to see what's going to be going on this week for you. And let's just jump right into that. But just keep in mind, Pisces, of how you are communicating and who it is you're communicating with, right? And, you know, sometimes you may need that filter depending on who it is you're talking to. Eight of Cups trying to come in with the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. So some of you guys are Pisces really thinking about disconnecting from something. Something that you you probably feel like you've been like walking on eggshells with them, right? Or with a situation that just feels extremely touchy. Like one wrong move, one wrong thing that you say, and it all kind of falls on your face right but it's almost like this sense of where the messenger card coming in there's almost like this weird message pisces of where it's like you're being extremely cautious and extremely protective at this time because just i don't know like and i feel like even you feel like something's up as well like you just like i don't and i know i speak about this in terms of like a person but back of the deck <laughs> the devil card trying to come in i was like trying to flip the deck over and the card came out and it's the devil there's some type of devil that is coming in in your life uh pisces or something that's around that's kind of just ominous and i don't usually like to feed into these narratives pisces just because it's kind of just like ugh, why why create energies like this but there is definitely something that you need to just be watchful of this week pisces with this double card coming in and this messenger you feel on guard with something and i feel like i need to just tell you pisces that your suspicions with something is right um and yeah and i feel like for some of you guys there is just like you have this bad feeling about either where it's like the, at the workplace or with your friends or something you have a bad feeling about something and it feels like you want to be like you want to just peace out from it before it gets too bad right you, you're sensing like a bad situation here you're sensing just something that's just not good something that just wouldn't be beneficial to you and you're just like uh, i don't want to do this i don't want to take part in this and so you're choosing to separate yourself from the conversation from the situation so i feel like that's a good sign for you uh pisces but again just be careful especially if it is about people how you go about communicating that um because I, there is just like this weird like a forewarning foreshadowing of where it's just like some people just might not take it well some people might not take you leaving very well <laughs> essentially from you choosing to separate yourself from a situation pisces so take that as you will darling let's see what advice we can get from your spirit guides pisces let's see what your spirit guides have to say what they have to 
Uh, love is all around. Night Nightingale's card coming in here. Number five for numerology. Uh, so this Nightingale spirit, love is all around. I feel like this is more so coming in as a message, Pisces, and that um, especially with this ominous message here that we had prior, there's almost this sense where it's like you may take this one specific situation and be like, ah, there's a devil here. What about all these other situations, right? What if like, you know, what if it bled out into other facets of my life that it's now I have like allowed these issues into my life? I don't feel like that's the case. I feel like spirits are kind of trying to bring in this message, Pisces, where it's just like, this is one specific thing, whether this is like dealing with dealings with a friend or dealings with just like you know, it's almost like, don't go overboard, Pisces. Like, you may have this one bad egg, but that doesn't mean the rest of the batch is bad, right? Seven of Cups comes in here with choices. So, yeah, I do just feel like I need to tell some of you Pisces to just stop your overthinking a little bit. Just because you find one bad egg does not mean they're all going to be bad. Is really the message that keeps on trying to come in here for the Pisces. You guys are really, like, on edge this week, it feels the world card as well as the page of pentacles in the reverse man you guys pisces i don't know what's going on for you guys this week it probably feels like the most stressful week for you guys right something's like just been stressing you out so much and it's like it's like it's good stress in the sense of like i mean for me i cannot look at this and identify pisces and be like all right this is really going to build a lot of character for my pisces this is really going to get them into the right direction um but for you guys this week pisces you guys are just do it feels like there's so many different situations coming at you um trying you in different ways like drama coming in from different aspects different facets and it's just like this constant barrage it feels like of things that you have to handle uh, in your life, Pisces. And again, just in all facets, like you're dealing with some drama in your personal life, then like something happening in your family that you have to be there for, manage that situation. And then like there's some type of like car issue that you're dealing with as well. And then something happens at work and then like you have a leaky faucet and you have to call the plumber, right? It feels like in this sense, just a lot of things coming at you this week, uh, Pisces, that could just overwhelm you. And I feel like you're just needing to have like this reminder that not all things are bad, right? I know in the sense that uh, Pisces, especially because I do feel like this, this devil that is in your life, because that here's the thing, like I make the examples of where it's just like you have car problems, right? Um, that's something out of your hands, but there is definitely some type of message here, like something that you allowed in your life or allowed to come through uh, devil-wise that then has you on guard for everything else and just being like, well, is every other bad thing that I did be based off of this one thing? Uh, no. So now, Pisces, let's see how this week ends out for you. Very interesting, like, <laughs> interesting energy, Pisces, and this, this High Priestess card still comes in uh, for you guys. So, uh, Pisces, really, there's just the sense here of um, your, your intuition, your gut being right with something. Your gut being right with something and confirming that. Um, hmm, let's get some more clarifiers the tower card coming in here man <laughs> pisces you guys are really having a tower moment a tower uh, experience in your life and i feel like it's about some type of person oddly enough and we'll see with your social situation but it's like something's just drastically like this is ugh, <laughs> a heavy week for you guys just really uh I know you guys are going to be able to make it. Ace of Wands, Page of Swords, and the King of Cups coming in here. You guys are definitely going to make it through this, Pisces. And the reason why I say, like, from my point of view, I can really appreciate and be like, oh, this is a lot of good stress for you guys, Pisces. It's because it's like you kind of being forced to move out of your positioning. You're forced out of your home, forced out of your comfort zone where you kind of are being, you know, like there's no plan B or plan C or anything like that. You only have one choice to keep going forward because you have, there's no other way if you want to keep surviving in life, right? It feels like you're having a lot of choices just crumble around you and you're kind of being forced, your hand is being forced, Pisces, to do certain things just because of how things seem to be crumbling in your life. But again, just don't internalize this, Pisces. Don't feel as if you're doing something wrong. Don't feel as if like um, this one bad aspect in your life that 
came in like just don't like yeah that's the thing it's just like kind of like allow this chaos to happen because it's just one of the i really do feel like your vision's going like once the dust settles with all this drama like you're really going to have such a clear vision on where you need to be going next but it's almost like right now this week spirit what have you this is just a week of where all your distractions are going to be coming crumbling down all the things that have really haven't been of service to you that you've allowed in your life whether those are habits that you've picked up like smoking whatever or eat like whatever your issue is your prerogatives are darling it feels like it's all crumbling down and those ways may be looking like in some ways of uh you know, you may, ex you know, smoking's like a bad sign, like a bad habit that you developed, right? You may be getting like a little bit of a scare where it's just like, oh, I need to stop smoking, right? It just feels like a lot of cleansing is going to be happening and it's just going to be really overwhelming uh, for a while for you Pisces. But you can handle this. I know you can because especially with these aces, ace of wands, page of swords, king of cups, like all this t comes in where it's just like, a lot of stability comes in emotional stability king of cups comes in as the key factor here where it's just like it's a lot of chaos but you know like you're at peace with yourself because you're handling this storm because you know what your next 10 moves are so you know this week's going to be chaotic by but by the end of it you're going to be feeling so in control of yourself right because that's what the pisces card is i mean king of cups card is is you right that's your energy pisces and now, darling Pisces, let's get into your social situation. The card came flying out already, Pisces. The abundant universe will provide for you, uh, Pisces. So there is some type of social social connection coming into your life this week. Um, how it's going to be handled if you've been hoping, uh, Pis Pisces, or really, uh, yeah, that's really what I want to say. It's like you've been hoping for a certain come out um, for a situation in your life the result of something if you're attached to a certain way and being like oh man i hope they kind of like forgive me or you know whatever your narrative is uh two of pentacles temperance card and the eight of wands yeah i do definitely feel like you're going to be experiencing um a lot of positivity in some type of social situation in your life pisces of where you're asking for you know you know for some of you guys, you may be being like, oh, I hope they text me back, you know, as like a silly example. Um, but I feel like it's you're hoping for someone to come around, right? Hoping for someone to come around, hoping for them to be able to be more open to engaging with you in some way. And I feel like there's going to be some movement in this regard. Uh, temperance card does come in as the sign of a patient of patience, though. So it's not going to be like full blown. I like I like to just speak in examples or analogies, Pisces. So in a way where it's just like, you know, uh you may be going to the next level with the relationship for example right but it doesn't necessarily mean that they're ready to marry you that they're ready to be engaged or something like that it's kind of like baby steps you're gonna have to take baby steps and acknowledge that this situation is going to be baby steps but it's definitely going to provide something beautiful for you all right queen of pentacles comes in as the back of the deck energy as well it's gonna it's gonna be good long term for you pisces you kind of just have to be patient with this connection you know let things uh play out but it's definitely going to be an outcome that you are happy with all right now pisces let's get into your financial this week let's see what's going on for your financial and career my beautiful pisces we have here the rhino spirit 50 a uh, number 50 equaling to five for numerology overcoming any obstacle pisces so let's get into this right what what obstacles are you overcoming when it comes to your work life right have you guys, Pisces, been experiencing a little bit of a block, a little bit of a creator's block? Ten of Pentacles this is definitely coming in as like a positive message for finances. If you guys have been experiencing some type of block when it comes to your work life, Three of Cups as well, Celebration card. You're getting a lot of positivity through you overcoming an obstacle. Maybe you guys, Pisces, been going through like a little bit of a period of darkness for a little bit, a little bit of a struggle when it comes to your work life and financial situation but like these two cards right here right ten of pentacles is the best card that you want to be having that's like having your cake and eating it too best card to be having for your work life because pentacles literally represents you know ha rep is the finance is like the financial means of money right three of cups is that card of just like collective happiness you know it's the card that quite literally if you were to look it up it says victory right the star card coming in as well pisces like definitely for my pisces that have been experiencing just a period of darkness things are going to be looking up really soon for you guys really powerfully and really soon it's going to be a cause for celebration for you pisces six of wands yeah you're getting nothing but positive like 
victory cards, Pisces. If y'all been experiencing a little bit of a dry spell when it comes to your finances, not for too much longer, honey. Not for much longer because things are really going to be turning up. This card as well speaks about victory, public recognition, right? Just overall beauty. So now, Pisces, let's close out your reading now. You had a chaotic week, honey, ahead of you, but your story gets so much better in terms of your finances. And even just by the end of this week, you're going to just feel so good. So just keep your head above water, Pisces. You're good at that. So let's see the positive affirmation card that we have for you that you can take for you the rest of this week, Pisces. I'm unapologetic about what I desire and trust that what I focus on will grow. What was I just talking about, Pisces, with that king of water, that king of cups, rather, right? Where it's like you're going to have chaos in your life, but you're going to figure out where it is you focus in on. And that's, you're not going to stress out because you, ne you know your next 10 steps forward of how you're going to handle your life and where you're going to be going, uh, Pisces. You're not going to have any stress by the end. Well, you might, you're, it's stress, but it's good stress, right? Because it's just, you, you get it, Pisces. I'm going to repeat it one more time. I'm a un, I'm un, maybe I will Pisces. I'm un, Pisces. I'm unapologetic about what I desire and trust that what I focus on will grow. My gosh, Pisces, thank you so much for allowing me to do this weekly July horoscope for you. If you found any cards that resonated, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to book a personal private reading with me where hopefully I can speak better for you, my website is simplyvelka.com. I link it down below along with my website or rather with my social medias, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, all of that, Pisces, is just simply Velka. I love you so much, Pisces. And if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not, honey, send them their zodiac sign video and maybe they'll find a message that resonates with them. I love you so much, Pisces, and hopefully I can connect with you sometime in the near future. Bye.